Hey guys, this is unboxing for the Ring Floodlight Camp. This secure lights from Ring have a built-in camera and a secure siren that built into the camera when if the you know all of a sudden some detect a motion and you see that there's someone there that you know they're not supposed to be there, you can actually turn on the siren from your phone and it will scare them. Um, the siren is pretty loud, it's 110 dB, so your neighbor probably should be able to hear it too. Um, and this one that I bought, it includes a Cham Pro, which this is like a, a Wi-Fi enabled you know, speaker. Uh, when it detects a motion, this camera detects a motion. It actually alerts you and send like a, a cham from the inside of your house and it's act as a, a Wi-Fi extender too. So here you go. It's including this package. Okay, and let's open it and see the camp. So here, this is outside package. Go. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi extender and Cham. It's called. This is the Cham Pro. I would recommend this if you actually mount one right in front of your garage because that's a long way out. Your Wi-Fi might not reach it, so you could plug one of this inside your garage to extend the Wi-Fi signal. Hmm. Patching's really tight. Okay, go. Two lights. This one is loosening it up. Tighten it. And then when you mount it, it's supposed to be this way, but the camera had to, it turns that way. That's how it's supposed to be when looks when you mount it on your wall. And this is the hard wire one. I don't, yeah, I think they only have hard wire for the security floodlight. So we got the bare copper is the ground. We got neutral, the white, and then hot wire, the black. So that's a, that's a security floodlight. Then we got the that's a Cham Pro, and got this the mounting bracket. Let's see what's in here. Probably instruction. Yeah, it's just the wiring instruction.
and a sticker you can put on your window. Okay. And this is Okay, give you three wire nuts. And this one here, the S, it's like an S hook. What you do is uh, for you to install it, they hook onto the electrical box, electrical box, and then you hang the light onto it, onto the other end while you're doing the splicing, you know, splicing the, the wires together. So you don't have to, if you're doing it yourself, you don't have to actually one hand holding the light and then. You know, the other hand, you know, try to twist in the wire nuts. So, this helps a lot. And it does include a screwdriver, if you don't already have one. Okay, let's cut Philip, and I guess this side is a Torx head. This is the Philip head. And just the torques. Yeah. Okay. What else in here? Okay, to give you I guess just the the nut to tighten up the light when you after you put it onto the bracket, so yeah, so this nut actually goes on here. They give you three in case, you know, somehow you lose one, I guess. <laughs> so actually, this is for put it on here when light goes on. Dragon is for this decorative thing. And assortment of screws, different lengths. It's all the same size, but different length. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to replace your existing light with the ring cam uh, floodlight. This one has two screws. You gotta remove those two screws. And make sure you turn off the switch uh, for the light. Uh, uh, go into your panel, find a circuit breaker for the light. Turn off the circuit breaker to be safe. So this white, pull this out, loosen up the Y nuts. bracket because uh, the ring flood like comes with its own bracket. So we gotta take this off. Move this gasket because the ring bracket already have the gasket on it. So you gotta make sure this arrow say up and arrow that go upward. And the reason why you see the gaskets all around and they're cut out here, if the water gets in there, there's room for the water to drip out. The rains get in it. So it's supposed to be that way, where the arrow points up. And so go.
make sure it's tight. So I'm using the, the S hook that comes with the the camera to hook the camera in. So you know I put my two hands free to twist in the wire nut. So here we got the ground wire. You wrap around the ground screw and go clockwise. Wrap around clockwise. So it won't, if you wrap it counterclockwise, what happens when you tighten up the screw? It's the wire slips off the other way. Okay. See how when you tighten it, the, it turns the wire tighter? If you do the other, the opposite way, the counterclock way, when you tighten it, it spins the wire out. So we're good. Now here's the hot wire. The black goes to black. Okay, let's put the, so the black go to black. Those are the hot wire. Twist it. Make sure when you twist it, it's, it's tight because you don't want to uh, the wire to get loose. Okay, and the neutral go to new neutral. Those are the white wires. Okay, done. Push the wire into the electrical box to, behind the bracket. Uh, there's two rod, there's two screws coming out. It goes in this two hole. Make sure it's just align it and push it in. You gotta remove the bracket, the hook. Okay. Can you use the screwdriver? Screwdriver that comes with the light. You, you remove it and there's a hex slot there. You can use to tighten up the, the nuts. done and then just you know adjust the light the two heads to, you know to wherever you want the light to be then fix the camera this is a reset button up on top right here if you run into problem programming the uh, installing the the cam or activating the cam uh, a link sync the cam to your phone you push this button and it resets. Do that. Let's turn the switch on and see if it comes on. There we go. Okay, everything looks good. The light turns on. Everything works. And I'm going to do the setup and I'll show you how the app looks for the ring. Hey guys, here's the video from the ring floodlight camp that I just installed. And the video is very clear. Looks good. Okay, thanks for watching guys.